It was great, Mom. I really missed your roast chicken. Oh, my pleasure. So, what do you two have planned while you're here? You need a plan. Landry women have got to keep busy. Um, I, actually, I, I was thinking that I was gonna write a book. You know, there's, there's a few editors that have expressed interest over the years, and I've got some really great ideas, so. Is that a practical solution? Don't worry, there are still jobs in town. I hear they're hiring at the point. Better dust off that resume, Mom. And Alice, you start school tomorrow. Um, actually, I'm just gonna do the rest of the year online. That's a terrible idea. Go to school and meet some kids your age. Honestly, I think I'm fine. Suit yourself, but the internet out here is spotty at best. You'll have to trek to the library. On the bright side, I hear they just got a set of those Twilight books. Don't you want to get dressed? You don't want to be late. Caffeine first. Get some breakfast, too. Sorry, I don't do breakfast. I see. Do you mind letting Finn out, please? You must be the American granddaughter, Alice, right? That'll teach you to get dressed before breakfast. You did that on purpose? <laughs> Who are those people? Uh, what people? Oh, they're just kids from the high school. They get community service hours from working on the farm. I can introduce you if you like. Wow, that was kind of evil, but I really loved it. <laughs> hey, kid, the garden looks great. My perfect boy. Uh, Jacob's time on Earth was short, but it was meaningful. He brought a light and love to so many of us. But now it's time to say goodbye, to let him go. I have to do this, Jake. Because I would rather remember you in love than in fear. Because he was love. My heart, my baby. Left him at the top of the cliff, and that's the last time I ever saw him. <laughs> All these years, we could have been looking in the right spot earlier. <laughs> Thank you for being so honest. I am deeply grateful. I should have stayed with him. He probably went down the cliff. He probably slipped and drowned, and it's because of me. No, Danny. We will never know what happened. But it's done. You can't let guilt dictate your life. We have to move on now. Together. I heard a rumor that you were going to sing at the reopening of the Roxy. Good for you. Yeah, well, um, the Landrys are musicians, and someone has to keep that tradition alive. But I'm terrified. You gotta do the thing that scares you. That's what Colton always said. I wish your grandpa could have heard you sing. He would have loved that. <laughs>